Okay, year 10, we're going to look at some solutions to exercise 604. When I checked your homework, I noticed that most of you had trouble solving these questions with an equation. Now, I know that some of you worked it out just using numbers and trialling some whole numbers and working out the answer, but you've got to learn how to do these with equations. So let's have a look at the question six here. So it says when 15 is subtracted from three times a certain number, the answer is 63, what is the number? Now, that certain number, we're going to call it x, okay? So we're going to translate these words into an equation. So when 15 is subtracted from three times, now three times is three times x, and it says the answer is 63, so that's going to be an equal 63 there. Okay, so it says 15 is subtracted from. That means I've got 3x minus 15 equals 63. Okay, so the 15 is subtracted from the 3x, and the answer is 63. So that's the first step. Okay, so the point of these is not just to get the correct number at the end, but to actually write down the equation. So then add, add 15 to both sides. It gives you 3x is equal to 78. Divide both sides by 3. They cancel. And then and get your answer. So work out 78 divided by 3. 3 and 7 goes to 2 with 1 remainder. So 26. Okay, now I know that some of you got 26, but if you just write down 26 in the test, you get one mark, and the rest of the marks will be for the equation and solving the equation. Okay, let's have a look at the next question. So write that down in your books. Uh, question number... Eight now. So let's have a look at question eight. All right, so it's the sum of the present ages of Martha and Chris is 36, and in four years' time, the sum of their ages will equal twice Martha's present age. How old are they now? now? A lot of information there, and some of you used two different pronumerals in this question. Now, if possible, try and stick to the one pronumeral. So let's uh, start off with Martha. Right. I'm going to say that Vartha is X years old, okay? Chris, let's have a look, it says the sum. Now, sum means plus. The sum of their present ages is 36. So if Vartha is X, Chris is 36 minus X. So you can see I've just used the one prime numeral. Now, uh, it says in four years' time... Um, what happens in four years' time? Now, in four years' time, so in four years' time, we're going to be adding four. So, Vartha will be x plus four. What about Chris? Well, in four years' time, Chris will be 40 minus x. Because if you add 30, add 36 to 4, you're going to get 40, aren't you? So this is in four years' time, just here. Four years' time. Okay, now, what else does it say? So we've done Vartha and Chris and the 36. We've done it in four years' time. But we haven't done this part. The sum of their ages will equal twice their present age. Well, this is their present age here. Okay, this is their present age. All right, present ages are just here. That's their present ages. Okay, so it says the sum of their ages, so in four years' time, the sum of these ages, let's write that down. So x plus 4 plus 40 minus x, the sum of their ages sum of the ages will equal twice Vartha's present age. Well, Vartha's present age is x, so that's going to be equal to twice x. So there's your equation that you've got to write down first. And we can simplify this. x minus x is 0, and 40 plus 4 is 44. So you just get 44 is equal to 2x. And divide both sides by 2. 
okay? And then you get x is equal to 22 as your answer, okay? Now it says, how old are they now? Well, this is the now ages. So that means Vartha is 22. So to complete the question, Vartha equals 22. And Chris is 36 minus 22, which equals 14. Okay, so copy all that down. You can see that I've done the whole question in terms of one prime numeral, which was the X. Some of you used X's and Y's. It's better to try and stick to just the one letter. Okay, copy that down. And then we'll look at the next question. Okay, now here's a bit of geometry. So let's have a look at this one. First of all, I notice that these angles here are on parallel lines, they're alternate angles. Okay, so I know that alternate angles are equal on parallel lines. Alternate angles on parallel lines are equal. Okay, so that means this angle here is equal to this, this angle here. So I can say, therefore, 2x plus 45 is equal to 5 brackets x minus 12. Okay. Now if I expand those brackets, I'm going to get uh, 2x plus 45 is equal to 5x minus 60. All right. And then I'm going to minus 2x from both sides. It's going to give me 45 is equal to 3x minus 60. And then I'm going to add 60 to both sides. That's going to give you 105 is equal to 3x. And then divide both sides by 3. Cancel, cancel. Um, and that's going to give you your answer. So what is uh, 105 divided by 3? You're going to get 3 into 10 goes 3 times with one remainder. 5. And it should be degrees. Uh, no, not degrees, that's fine. Just 35 is fine because we've got the degrees already there. Okay, so find the size of x in the diagram. We've done it. x is equal to 35. All right? So that's how to do it. Set up your equation. All right? And then solve the equation. I'll copy all that down and then we'll look at question 12. Okay, question 12, what does it say? It says if 17 it, uh, more than a number is fifth, five more than three times number, what is the number? Well, let the number equal x. So that's the number we want to try and find. We've got 17 more than, so for more than, we're going to put a plus. So for this part here, I'm just going to say that's plus. 17 more than a number, right? 17 more than a number is equals to that. Five more than, so for the more than part, I'm going to put plus again. Then three times, three times the number. The number is x, isn't it? So there's your equation. You've got 17 plus x is equal to 5 plus 3x, right? And you've got to solve that equation. So let's have a look. First of all, subtract x from both sides, all right? That way you eliminate one of your prime numeral terms. And then subtract 5 from both sides. Equals 2x. Okay, so you get x equals 6, so the number is 6. Okay, next question. Last question, number 14. 
Okay, so we've got one angle in a triangle is double the smallest angle, and the third angle in the triangle is five times more than four times the smallest angle, five the sides of each angle. So let's draw a triangle for starters. Okay, now one angle in a triangle is double the smallest angle. Okay, so I would say you've probably got an obtuse in a triangle here. Well, oh, maybe not necessarily. You might, you might not have an obtuse angle. So let's just say um, this is obviously not the scale. This is X. Um, and let's just say this is 2X. Yep. The third angle in the triangle is five more than four times the smallest angle. Five more than four times the smallest angle. So that's going to be five plus four X in here. Okay. Now, there's your diagram. We've got to write a, 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 um, an equation. Now, I know the three angles of a triangle are up to 180. So I can say that 5 plus 4x plus 2x plus x is equal to 180 degrees. And then 4x plus 2x plus x, 5 plus 7x equals 180 degrees. And then minus 5 minus 5, um, okay. yep, so you're going to get uh, 7x is equal to 175 there, and then divide both sides by 7, cancel that, and you get x equals, now 7 is into 17, we can do this on the calculator, but eventually 7 into 17, you're going to go 2 with 3 remainder, and then 7 into 35, is five. So x is equal to 25. Okay, now that's not the answer, of course, because it says find the size of each angle. All we've done is find x. So one angle, okay, so one angle is equal to x. So 25 degrees is one angle. The other angle is 2x. 2 times 25 degrees equals. So the second angle is 50 degrees, and then the third angle is 5 plus 4 times 25. Okay, that is uh, 105 degrees. So actually, you do have a obtuse angle. So the three angles are 25, 50, and 105. Uh, so it is an obtuse angle triangle. So that's maybe 105 in there. Um, and maybe that's 25 in there. 50 in there, something like that. Okay, but your these are your three answers at the end. If you just stopped at x equals 25, you have not finished the question. Okay, so once you do your solution to the equation, always check back with the question and see if you've completed the answer. Okay, that's it.